Hey, how's it going? It's 2012-1227. Just woke up. Well, no, I went for a while, but I just went for a little 1.2 km. Westbound, then westbound, then eastbound jog. I think being in this dumped, dilapidated shack, it's like emotional, intellectual rent. And so, like, like 2% of all my work, I get to have. And the other time, I'm just, like, pushing away crap, disgusting, toxic people in this toxic situation. So I might move in with this person who said he was a homosexual. You know, I don't. That, I know that doesn't exist. And that one, I don't, that might. I don't want to do that, but that might be better than this. I just feel like this temporary habitat, this uh, this this house area, like so many talking about a place that was sixty-five thousand dollars rent per month, and I kind of realize I feel like this place has that emotional, intellectual rent, and that's it's become it's it's always been unbearable. I've been suffering with that, and I've done my best to create a temporary habitat within that, but it's just, it's this, this terrible situation is, is killing me, emotionally, intellectually, and in a way physically as well. So, yeah, um, snowy outside. I don't really want to show outside, but I can show some snow. Some nice snow, and a nice little evergreen sprig. So I think I just, I can't really focus in this hell, 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 inferno, awful, wretched, uh, oh, temporary habitat location. Temporary habitat's fine, because that's modular and mobile, but location that's temporary habitat I think has that, and it's been having that siphoning, money, intelligence, emotional draining thing, which is wretched. Well, doing these every day, you've seen kind of a full gamut of things. I slept a lot, a lot. Normally, it was just a heinous amount of sleep, a outrageous amount. Normally, I sleep. I I, I aim to sleep four to six hours. This was like well over three times that amount. I haven't slept that much in many, many, many months. Uh, look, I went jogging. In my best. <laughs> in this. Yeah. So yeah, this hell abode, I feel like it does siphon focus and energy, and it's so hard to get things accomplished that I want to accomplish, like inputting the rest of those GG annotations, math book, and classic music book. And then I was just haunted with the idea of, oh, don't go for a jog. Oh, if you do go for a jog, and all that earning of all that recording and many of that rubbish uh, will be earned, so I guess I went for a dog so I earned that, whatever. But I hate this place. I just gave you a trap out! Money for the car! I was so sad for the car! I didn't say much money for anything to do! I was just earning money for the car! I was like, yeah, alright. Who else? Yeah, yeah. But just... Really, really horrifying. Feeling like... So much of time here has just been gone to disconnecting from this hell place. Um, let's see. <clears throat> and then this, this house just feels like it just it's full of viri in this location, and that's what I'm talking about. And I feel it feels like it's like just hellish emotional, mental siphoning rent of sorts. Like uh, it's unacceptable to me. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Awesome. So, again, I just wanted, there's so many things I want to do, and I'm not, and I don't complete them, and I get distracted. Oh, I know that touching that clutter shit, it, I forgot how, like, I'm upsetting that is. Because after sleeping, I just touched something with my foot, and I got all, like, twitchy. Before I was like sorting and immersed in it, I just realized touching that clutter makes me angry because it's stuff for weeks and weeks and months and months and months and months and months. I've been trying to eliminate it and I've sorted and sorted. No, oh. But not all of it I want to eliminate. Some of it, it seems okay. Like I was in Australia, I unquestionably keep the wetsuit and the flippers. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm unquestionably keeping those. But I'm not in Australia. Um, currently, I'm not. So yeah, I just, I, that's, 
Anything related to finances really genuinely makes me feel incomprehensibly helpless and out of uh, lack of control. That's what I experienced two days ago. Just whew, emotionless drop from that. And I feel like this hell shack house is just like a scam that siphons money and time and and emotional clarity away from me. And I have to put all this energy, I've said this many times, into like just just keeping myself centered in this hell boat my temporary habitat is like this, temporarily. I like that TARDIS Doctor Who sticker. I got a sticker that says my other ride is the TARDIS. I didn't I was thinking about sounding the computer, I probably won't, but I might. So I put it with duct tape on the computer, my rig, which is cool. If I get a laptop that I want to keep, unlike, can you see that? Yeah, unlike that laptop, um, I will probably put on the laptop. I like that sticker a lot. I think it was, it was less than five dollars, like four dollars, two, three dollars, I think. Anyways, all right. So today, and I always say these stupid things. I don't accomplish them. The time I wouldn't stay up to two a.m. Recorded that. I didn't stay up to two a.m. So I'd like to import GGD annotations and do a chapter of the math book. But I, just, I can't but help acknowledge that this house feels like it's just constantly pulling me apart, emotionally discombobulating me with like the pseudo fail rent scam thing. I was getting one more thing. One thing I noticed is so much of my time goes towards avoiding sexual arousal. Like when I'm at the computer, I turn off images while browsing well over 50% of the time. Probably something like 60%. And I just want to drop living in this hell place that just feels so discombobulating that I never wanted to live here. So it's that fail scam pseudo rent thing that's so scam is unfair. <laughs> and everyone will be here. And yeah, the and then if I like feel arousal, I quickly try to distract myself from that. Um, and just like jolting and un unhelpful. So yeah. And just <laughs>